Twas the night before Christmas and all through the... Wait a minute, wrong script. Let's see. Uh, here it is. Bob Cratchit picks up some money for his boss and heads back to the office. And it was the night before Christmas. So there. Just enough for my new jet ski. Now, yeah, but Mr. Scrooge, it's the middle of winter, you know. You can't jet ski now. Besides, Louie gave you that money to invest in a health food store. Listen, it's 1862. Believe me, nobody's gonna care about eating healthy food for another hundred years. And in the meantime, this money is mine, mine, mine. Brand muffins. They'll never sell. Now, as for you, Cratchit, I strongly suggest you get back to work and stop telling me how to spend my money. Uh, yes, sir. Excuse hmm? me, are you Mr. Hmm. Scrooge? That's my name. Now, how might I help you, sister? Well, I've heard you're made of money, though I must say you look normal. You nuns, what comedians! Hmm? Well, what do you want the money for, and how much do you want? We're asking for donations for new uniforms for the convent's downhill ski team. A donation? What, are you kidding me? Let me explain something to you, sister, okay? A donation is where I give you money and then later on you don't pay me back. It's a terrible way to do business, take my word for it. But I'll give you a free tip. Huh? Take Secretariat to win in the fifth. <laughs> Just a little joke, sister, I won't even charge you for it. Oh, please, sir, it is Christmas and the sisters have been skiing in their habits. So strap some beaks on them and call them the Skiing Penguin Patrol. What am I, a manager? Now excuse me. Man, these nuns, why don't they go find themselves jobs or something? The Girl Scouts at least give you cookies for your money. Why'd she mention skiing? It always makes me think of my poor partner, Marley. Marley? Marley, let's see. Uh, ah, here we are. Years ago, when times were tough, Scrooge's business partner, Marley, had contracted pneumonia on a kayak trip, leading Scrooge to an unpleasant confrontation with a pharmacist. I'll have the money for you tomorrow, honest. Hey, hey listen up, bud. No moolah, no medicine, okay? But it's for my dear friend Marley, you see? He's very sick, and of course I will gladly pay you, but it seems the dog ate my checkbook. Hey, you're breaking my heart. I used to use that same excuse with my homework in school, and it never worked then either. But I... Oh. But young Scrooge was not about to be discouraged so easily. We're doomed. Uh, like I said, Scrooge was, uh, pretty much a basket case after the loss of his partner and became crabby and mostly bald. Sure. Sure, are you all right? Mm -hmm. I'm still breathing, aren't I? Why do you ask? Well, it seemed you got all kind of woozy there for a minute when you mentioned your old friend Marley, and then you... Nah, 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 nah. It was just this canker sore flaring up again. Well, I'll be going now, sir. Now, Merry Christmas. Oh. Sir, I, I almost forgot to ask you. Yes, well, spit it out, man. Well, seeing as it is Christmas Eve, I was wondering if perhaps I might have my week's pay in advance. You see, I what, was... What, are you kidding me or something? Cratchit, you're as bad as that goofy nun. Payday's not till Friday. Uh, it's just that we wanted to have a little Christmas do, you know? Actually, I was hoping you might come. I'm invited? But, uh, why's that? Why would you? Huh? Wait. Is this party going to include dancing and singing and having a good time? Absolutely. Right. You can count me out. And don't show up late for work tomorrow, either. <laughs> Later that night, the city streets are filled with the joyous sounds of Christmas. But Scrooge on his way home is a man determined to hate everything. I hate that snowflake. And I hate that snowflake, too. And that one. And that one. Geez, there's a million of them. Buy some bunny head pencil eraser, sir? Oh, brother. Even the ankle biters are after my money tonight. Christmas. Bah, humbug. Finally, home at his humble flat, where you can see he's gone all out with the holiday decorations, Scrooge prepares to lay down his stingy head. Mm -hmm. Ah, Marley, it's hard to believe it's been ten years since you passed away. I can't remember the last time I smiled like that. Then you always could make me laugh, you with your whoopee cushion and your hand buzzer and your onion gum and those impersonations of the Queen of England. I'd give anything to see you again, old friend. A terrible, awful, evil spirit from another realm, here to bug you. Are you frightened of me? A little, but 
You look more like Marley than an evil spirit. <laughs> you were kidding, right? I was. Hey, pal! Yeah! <laughs> 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 you are! <laughs> <laughs> I may not be evil, but I am a spirit, partner. Ah, a ghost? <laughs> I've come back to visit because I'm worried about what's happened to you, Ebenezer. You're not the man I used to know. Me? What do you mean? I'm talking about your crummy outlook on life. Do you remember that Christmas when we played Santa Claus over at the orphanage? Those kids were so happy we brought them presents, they never even thought to ask how come Santa Claus drove a Buick. You were terrific, Scroogey. Me? Yes, you were. But since I've been gone, you've been acting like your underwear is always riding up. <laughs> you've forgotten how to give. you become a bitter old wienerhead. Wienerhead? Well, think about it. You scammed all of Louie's money, and you sent away that poor nun, and you never tip your waiter. Listen, Marley, you don't know what it's been like here. Folks have gone crazy. They'll cheat you at every turn. It all started with that pharmacist who wouldn't give me your medicine ten years ago. Uh... Hi. Oh, hello there, partner. I'm glad you've come back. I'm sorry, I don't, couldn't... Don't blame yourself. I know you did the best you could. I'm too far gone anyway. Goodbye, Scrooge. Marley! <laughs> you can't leave me now. <laughs> That scene bummed me right out. And I swore right then and there that nobody would ever take anything from me ever again. But you mustn't blame anyone for what happened. It's all over and done with now. Anyway, it wasn't the pneumonia that did me in. It was that showgirl Lorelei. And now my time is just about up. Three spirits will visit you tonight, dear friend. Please listen to what they say. Spirits? Goodbye. Ah! Marley! Who are you? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry if I've given you a fright, Mr. Scrooge. We ghosts do come and go rather suddenly. So what Marley said uh, about ghosts visiting is true, unless I'm dreaming. <laughs> I'm the ghost of Christmas's past, Mr. Scrooge, from back when you were quite a nice fellow and not at all the dreadful curmudgeon you've become. Let's go have a look, shall we? Hold on! Simply smashing way to travel about, don't you think? Over hill and dale they flew, through the gossamer mists of time, I suppose, since suddenly it wasn't nighttime anymore, in fact, it wasn't even winter anymore, to a lovely wooded area miraculously untouched by developers. Where are we? We are back in the woods where you used to play as a child. Do you remember? Wow! There's Joey, and there's Sally, and Fernando. And there I am. Oh, Ebenezer, wait up for me. Whoa, what happened to you, kiddo? You all right? Thanks, my valiant prince. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice guy. <laughs> my heavens, yes, you were very kind to all your friends when you were a young man. Yes, why, I had a whole lot of friends, I remember. Oh, yeah. ah, those were some swell times. And what about present times, Mr. Scrooge? Have you many good friends that you laugh and play with these days? Uh... Hmm, rather cruel of me to ask. I suppose I know that you haven't. But there are happier moments yet to come. Huh? Take my hand. Back into the air they go, whizzing over the rooftops, probably causing people to wonder, is that Santa and his sleigh? No, it's just a ghost and a guy in a dress. Where are we now? 
We've come to a party that was a very happy occasion indeed. I'm sure that if you look at all the people here, you'll see some you remember. Am I crazy? Or is that old man Blister? He was my first boss. It is Mr. Blister! You liked working for him? I sure did. He taught me everything I know about how to run a business. How to wear a suit and talk loud to get good tables at restaurants to uh, be fair to your employees. Well, those do seem like jolly good things for a businessman to know, but do you still abide by all those particular rules, Mr. Scrooge? Sure, I've got a nice suit and... Folks, I have wonderful news this Christmas Eve. Scrooge here, my star employee, has given me the privilege of announcing that he and his childhood sweetheart, Sally, are engaged to be married. Sally. She sure was cute before that acne got real bad. And look at me before my eyebrows grew together in the middle. Yes, you certainly were a handsome couple that Christmas. So animated. <laughs> what happened? Were you ever married? Yes, for a while. <sighs> why? Why, Scroogey Pooh? Please tell me even one reason why you have to leave me. A whole world's waiting out there. I gotta make my mark. Yeah, it's a guy thing. Then there's your cooking. Yeesh. You're better off without me. Oh, Scroogey Woogey. I really blew that one. Maybe I could have overlooked the burnt buns. We were so happy at that Christmas party. Well, do you think there's any way that we could... Hmm. Hey, ghosty! Uh... Oh! No ghost, huh? I'm the ghost of Christmas present, honey. But no time to chat. Gotta strap on the fairy dust and hit it. Mm -hmm. Are they traveling by fairy dust because it's cheaper to draw that way? Or is it her lousy flying record? Why am I asking you? Why are we at the butcher's? I guess I missed. <laughs> Wait, those are Cratchit's kids. Oh, then this is the place. I'm not so dumb. <laughs> this one, kids? Yes, yes please. please. All right, they all wrap her up. You kids have a Merry Christmas now and say hi to your pop. Thanks. Merry Christmas, sir. They're headed back to the Cratchit's house, and so are we, <laughs> I hope. Mom, Dad, we're home. Ah, it worked. Thank you for getting the turkey. No problem, Mom. That Butch is a nice man. He should probably be more careful, though. Why? Because he's only got nine fingers. Father Tim, time to come for dinner, you two. Oh. Such a small turkey. Wow! It looks great. Man, I'm starved. Carve that sucker, Dad. I'll do it. You kids just hold your horses now. I'll be right back and we'll eat. Okay. 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 That little tiny turkey will never be enough to feed their whole family. What gives? You think that's bad? For dessert, they're having pictures of pumpkin pie cut out of magazines. Even whipped cream won't help that. Well, what about Tiny Tim, the youngest child? Why does he need to walk with a crutch? Don't tell me he was skiing and got... No, he got hurt in an accident at the horse track. Cratchit's little kid? You mean to tell me he's a... Mm -hmm. Tim is a jockey, one of the best on the circuit, too. Unfortunately, his horse keeps falling over on him twice this month. Oh, wow, that's awful. His parents better get him a horse that won't fall over before it's too late. Those horses are heavy. They can't afford to. Tim will keep riding him, and next time they fall over... Squish City, huh? Wow, that's bad. Must be something we could do, huh? Poor little guy. Why don't we try to warn him what's gonna happen? Or I could buy him a new horse. I imagine that's more what you had in mind, huh, Miss Ghost? Something I do on my own? It's up to you to act, but I'm glad to see you're beginning to think with your heart. She's right, Scrooge. You're starting to go soft. Come on, hang tough. Dinner is served, everybody. You kids picked out a wonderful turkey. Don't you agree, honey? Oh, yes. And now, let's say grace, everybody. Bless this, our family. Bless this, our family. 
And thank you for the food which we are about to receive. And thank you for the food which we are about to receive. And let's not forget to thank Mr. Scrooge. Thanks, Mr. Scrooge. What? Why in the world do you suppose they'd be thanking me? They're thanking you for the money you pay Bob so that he can feed and clothe his family. I pay him pennies. I never realized that there were other people depending on that money. No wonder they ended up with a turkey the size of a hamster. And as Scrooge watches the little family, it slowly dawns on him that he is the bad guy in this cartoon. Oh, now what's this? Looks like Santa brought something for us. All right, Santa! Ho, 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 ho! Who's been a good boy? Me, I Santa, I've been good. Now, well, this shirt's for a big boy, you know, with a pocket and everything. Wow! <laughs> it's even got buttons! There's something here for a girl. A beautiful, uh, <gasps> something. Thanks, I'll put it right on my head. Good mom. Now, what's this? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Did wow. Santa bring a kitty for me? Oh. Now there is all yours, Tim, and the kitty litter too. Wow, wow. he's so cute. I'll take this kitty to make friends with my horse. Maybe then horsey won't fall over on me anymore. Hey there, I'm gonna name you King Tut, little kitty. How do you like that? And for you, dear? <gasps> oh. mm. Daddy, why didn't Mr. Scrooge come? Yeah, I wanted to see his eyebrow. Ah, well, it's a big job trying to take everybody's money away. I thought Christmas was all about giving. Now, honey, don't go confusing the issue. Your daddy works for Mr. Scrooge. Well, King Tut, we need to get some money somehow so old Mr. Scrooge can have it. Yeah, so we won't have to work holidays. Man, I... <laughs> I can't stand it. These people are too nice. Okay, we gotta go do some... Huh? Hey! Hey, Ghosty! Where'd you go? Here I am! Who said that? Uh, oh, there you are, down there. <laughs> I'm the ghost of Christmas future, hence my youth. Well, I'll be darned. I'm certain that you will, but it really is my department, if you know what I mean. Note the absence of fairy dust. My diminutive size gives me a terrific power to weight ratio. Voila, one year later. Tim would have loved that service. He was such a fan of organ music. I'm sure there are some pretty good organists up where he is in heaven. Heaven? Oh, no! Sure, there's Beethoven and Bach and Brahms and... Who's that guy they made the movie about? Oh, yeah, Amadeus. He plays the organ. How about that guy from The Grateful Dead? Is he in heaven, Mom? No doubt. With a name like that. Surely Tim is happy. That poor little boy, <laughs> squished flat. I feel just terrible. Uh. Perhaps you recognize this establishment? Well, it looks like my office building, but it looks like no one's been in it for some while. What the? This place is a disaster area. Why, when I see that Cratchit, I'm gonna... Wait a minute. Oh, but if <laughs> this is a year later, how come I'm not here? What happened to me? Fairy dust. <laughs> I always use it for the grand finale. Finale is right, as in curtains, do not pass go. This isn't really how this cartoon ends, is it? It's, uh, it's a joke, right? Look over there, Scrooge. It's no joke. In fact, the producer decided not to have any jokes in the graveyard scene. Mm. Can it, can it really be? <gasps> ah! 
<laughs> Check it out. Ah! My agent never mentioned dying. Ah! Ah! <laughs> It's all right, Eb. Ebby, there is still time for you to change. You mean I can change the future? You must rediscover your kind heart, and then we can just reshoot the last two scenes. My kind heart? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now how am I supposed to sleep? Well, somehow he did sleep. And when Christmas morning dawned... <sighs> Yipes! I don't think that was just a dream. It's all right, Ed. Ebby, there's still time for you to change. Am I capable of being a nice guy? I am. Marley, you're right. I have been a wiener head. But how do I... Wait! I've got it! Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas! Scrooge headed for the local toy store and proceeded to clean them out. Excuse me. Hey, you kids, come here. I've got something for you. <laughs> you two, come on over here, little ones. Let's see now. Something for all the girls and boys. Merry Christmas. Scrooge made the rounds of the neighborhood, giving toys to all the children he had considered mischievous little heathens only yesterday. The fact is, he was probably closer to the truth the first time. But, well, we were all young once. He even sought out the nun he had insulted earlier. Sister, allow me to apologize for my behavior yesterday. I simply was not myself. Hmm? This ought to be enough money for those ski outfits you mentioned to me yesterday. Though I did sort of like the idea of the beaks and habits. Well, Merry Christmas, I must be off. This is for you, little one. Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. This is to make up for the way I brushed you aside like an old boot yesterday. That'll buy a lot of erasers. <laughs> I don't want your bunny head erasers, little child. In fact, I want to give you all these presents. <gasps> Later, unaware that the heart of Scrooge is now huge, Bob Cratchit scurries to work. I'm sorry I'm late, Mr. Scrooge. My, my alarm didn't go off, and I was held up by thieves. And uh, I was stopped by a train, and the sun was in my eyes. And oh, I cut was... the excuses, Cratchit. Why don't you just go home? <gasps> oh, no, don't send me home, sir. I swear I won't be late tomorrow. I don't want you to come in tomorrow, either. Does your wife know how to cook a turkey, Cratchit? Um, um... Take this home and enjoy it with your family. And don't come back here until next week. Oh, by the way, I've decided to triple your wages, all right? Well, what are you waiting for? It's Christmas. Get on home to your family. What? Thank you, sir. And wish Tiny Tim a Merry Christmas for me, too, won't ya? Why not close up the office early today, sir? and come home for dinner with me. The children would be so happy to see you. Do you mean it? That'd be wonderful. But I better see if the toy store has any presents left. <laughs> well, it just goes to show there's always time to learn the true meaning of Christmas. Hmm, I wonder if it's too late for me to get a letter off to Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs>